I, my approach differs quite a bit. If I just look at the, like the therapeutic aspect, or what I like to call the mechanical aspect of things, looking at the muscle, ligaments, joints, nerves, things like that, the approach is, I always call it a, a local to global approach. I have a very good knowledge of what occurs very specifically at one tiny, tiny little joint and everything, the anatomy around it, the biomechanics around it. But I think the key in how uh, it differs is that I look at the body really as a whole unit, but I break it down into these little pieces and understand how dysfunction in the little pieces is affecting the whole. Mm -hmm. And then we're able to in integrate this local to global or isolated to integrated methodology. And that's, that's a methodology that really that I've, I've created now with everything that I knew and, and, and the research, that extra research that I've done. So it's become, it's, it's just a general philosophy um, that I have when I, when I look at any issue that walks in through mm -hmm. the door. What that allows is for two things. It allows for uh, finding out of, of the root problems, and it's usually uh, not just one thing, mm -hmm. which differs a lot. Usually when you have a knee injury, people come in and they treat your knee. If you have a back injury, they're treating your back. Uh, I could be very, very far from the area because I'm not trying to look at the area that's crying out in the body. I'm trying to look at what's causing the area to cry out in the body. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it could be local events. Sometimes it could be very, very, very far from it. Um, so, uh, and the second part of, to that is that allows the person to really understand. So what I do is I not only do I have that philosophy when I'm working, I try to really make empower the person to understand where the uh, where these issues are coming from. You talk about empowering people, giving them uh, tools. Um, is the patient or the athlete that you're working with being active, being active uh, in the process with you an important thing? And can you speak a bit about the other areas as well? Because you also uh, touch upon nutrition. You do strength and conditioning. You you also, in some ways, coach people uh, in terms of a wellness lifestyle. Can you speak a bit about uh, those things? Well, the first thing that I do when somebody comes in, which has differed now again, as uh, I've I've developed this methodology and I feel very confident in it, I've completely changed even what the first session looks like. Um, there is no intervention, uh, I won't say no, but rarely there is an intervention in the first session. It's all evaluating and sitting down and speaking to the client, evaluating the client and seeing, excuse me, what, what the client really needs. Um, to me, this is such a simple concept. I think uh, I, I didn't use that concept early in my career and I think, I think that's maybe part of the issue why people get frustrated is uh, just because somebody comes in with a, a joint problem, it doesn't mean that it's mechanical. Mm -hmm. It could be biochemical. So in a classic example is that if you're eating foods that are inflammatory, that could cause you specific joint pain. Mm -hmm. And I always tell people, that always sounds odd to people. And I said, you know, first I can show, you know, you can show research that can show inflammatory responses or things like that. But I always say, don't ever take my word for it, but try it. Mm -hmm. Try it, and if, the, if there is no results, then it will still tell us. It will tell us that it might not be coming from that side. But people are shocked that other aspects beyond what they think or what they've been told are impacting their, their symptoms. Their symptoms or lack of performance. I can ask athletes, and I've seen flexibility go up when we've made changes in terms of everything from sleeping to nutrition, and just like you're saying, coach them in other aspects of what they do. Mm -hmm. So um, I think these aspects are huge. I think the, the key is proper evaluation to start mm -hmm. and then determining. So I don't necessarily start with therapeutics. I don't necessarily say we have to start with strength and conditioning. I say let's start with a proper evaluation and determine what we need to do relative to the goals. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if, uh, you know, it's very different somebody going into competition and we have one week versus somebody who's had 10 years of chronic pain and, um, and there's no immediate thing. They're looking for uh, a long-term mm -hmm. long wellness, a long-term, a, a lifelong solution. Mm -hmm. 
You've uh, worked extensively, uh, not only with uh, the general public, but with uh, athletes of very high caliber, professional athletes, elite athletes. Um, you've been faced with unexpected, challenging uh, situations. Uh, you've had moments where you've treated for seven hours uh, straight. How, how do you deal with that? How do you um, lock into a zone, as you call it? Um, how do you not have barriers uh, when you're in that situation? How do you not limit yourself? What is, what is that process for you? Um, the process is, is that I believe, and I believe responsibly um, uh, in, in that a person can get better. So I think everything starts from my belief of that the body has huge potential and I'm trying to facilitate this body to reach its potential.